Hey fan, it's me Aaron! Triforce Mike! And this is the final installment of a comic show for oh, 2010. Yeah. Been a heck of a year. Oh man, uh, Marvel did a heck of a job this year. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, like I, I can't wait for January 2011. DC is kicking ass. Those icon covers are brilliant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm excited about so many of their storylines, and Marvel has some great stuff from March and April. Yeah. So um, without further ado, Batman: The Dark Knight finally out. You know, it's a terrible sign when the first issue is late. Of something, oh yeah. You know, eh. and you know, I. Guaranteeing you that this book will always be late. Always. Even if they make it, you know, bi-monthly, it'll come out every three months. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, but yeah. it has a level of art, a level of detail that anyone that likes David Finch want and are used to. It's yeah. like every page is like a freaking cover. Um, <laughs> a cover with lots of words. Yeah. But here's the reason why it's late. Now, don't think of it as David Finch and start hating on Finch. It's late right. because of... Bruce Wayne himself. Bruce He's Wayne. so busy yeah. being CEO, being all over the world, getting new Batman. So it's He's like Bat manager. He is the Bat manager. Right. And uh, this is the book where he does Undercover Boss, and he puts on the costume, pretends to be Batman, right. just pretends. to check out stuff. Yeah. You know, just to see whatever. So Finch is basically on Bruce's time, and Bruce is too busy being CEO. Busy. So this book will always be late. But it's yeah. pretty. Yeah, it looks good. Teen Titans, I know, like, I never talked about this book, put it in my top books no. ever before now. Yeah. Damien. Damien Boom. is brilliant. He's great with Dick Grayson. He's great with Bruce. He's great with Alfred, all that. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's all well and good. Put him on a team of his peers, and he has way more to prove. Oh, and man. he fails so oh, epically. So and hard. I just loved it. Yeah. He's like, he is absolutely the Guy Gardner of the Teen Titans. And, you know, they could be babysitting dogs. And, <laughs> you know, like, Damien's there, and I'll enjoy it. Because yeah. uh, Kroll, you have a voice for Damien, yeah. and it's great, you know? So what if you did Roy that way with that cat. But <laughs> uh, Green Lantern does not appear in this book. Jeff no. Johns, um, no. I don't know what your problem it's is. The it's the Atrocitus uh, New Year's special. Now, here's the thing. Jeff Johns, what he did was he shaved the Spectre. Uh -huh. This is the Spectre issue. Spectre does not have that damn goatee. I, Jeff, I will stop sending you my goatee shavings every week. <laughs> I'm Thank you so much. I hated seeing the Spectre yeah. like, oh, I, yeah, whatever. It has a goatee. But I yeah. like the Spectre. Yeah. Action oh, yeah. Comics. Action this is Mike's Comics. favorite book. Dude, I, I love it. I love this book. It's Paul Cornell. He just has the best characters show up in this all the time. He had Sandman's death. He yeah. had he's got uh, the Secret Six in here. He's gonna have uh, Joker. Joker's and, next. Then Larfleys. It basically this book is like Brave and the Bold, but without Batman with Lex. With it's Lex. like Lex and guest stars. Yeah. Lex has been around 75 years just like Superman. Yep. He has the Rolodex of every character. Any character who wants to guest star with it, Boom. just Organic, brilliant, great writing. Lex Luthor is brilliant, and for all you people, it's like, hey, I don't like Superman. Well, Lex doesn't either. He, he doesn't actually either. hates him, he hates and Superman, Superman doesn't appear in any of these. No. So you know, it's really good. Check it's, it out. It's great. Uh, Jason Aaron is just so dreamy. Mm -hmm. This book mm. is perfect. I just love this book. It's Spider-Man and Wolverine, all over in the future, in the past, this issue, they're in each other's origins. Oh my god. And getting a, a greater understanding for the other character, all that, that's all well and good. In the art styles of the origin, that's yeah. all well and good. Yeah. But to me, oh my god, he's hilarious. Jason Aaron is funny, he doesn't get enough credit for being yeah. funny, but he basically reinvents Public Enemy. He has Chuck D, and he has Flavor Flav, and right, they right. have like these time sticks where they just hit people and Blinging. they go through time yeah. and knock you into next week. I mean, it's just... It's so good. I love Jason Aaron. It's fun. I love him. I also love Marjorie Liu. She mm. is the woman. Oh, yeah. And she made X-23 a great character with oh, death in just yeah. a few issues. X-23 has always been kick-ass. People either love her or hate her based on, you know, whether they like the idea of a clone Wolverine. Right. But she kicked ass in X-Force, and that was fun. Oh, yeah. But she had no emotional resonance, no death, no real yeah. reason for being, no blah, blah, yeah. blah. And it's basically a romance novel with killing. Ooh. And uh, <laughs> Gambit. And, oh, yeah. Like, Ladies' man. I don't know about you, but... I love reading Gambit's dialogue now that I've been watching True Blood because he, I get it now. He's a, he's a True Blood. Avengers, Bendis is back. I I don't know what the hell I was kind of, I've always loved Bendis, always loved mm -hmm. his dialogue, but yeah. the future story, all that stuff, I was just kind of out of it. Mm -hmm. This is brilliant. It's the secrets, it's the lies, it's the Illuminati back, oh it's God. the Infinity Gems, oh. that subplot from years ago, yeah. and uh, Black Bolt dead, and his gem. It's taken, and that's the reality gym, so that's the gym to rule all other yeah. gyms. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's just, I'm I'm back, man. I'm back oh, in the saddle. That's good. And I loved it. Yeah, so, give me that. You know, Nemesis is the book of the week, and it had a satisfying ending. It's great. Four issue story oh, yeah. and done. And I'm satisfied. A great ending, great twist. 
So like I can already tell now the people that read the first issue and probably legally downloaded the other issues, you know, right. that you know they don't have any real investment in it, whatever, they just read it to hate on it. But the first issue you already decided, Mark Miller is a dummy and this is just stupid action and it's stupid and it's overhyped and I'm smarter than Mark Miller. Right. And the next two issues, it's like, oh, he must have read all my complaints on the internet and actually gave the character a backstory. Right. Haha. -ha. And then this issue, there's this crazy twist you didn't see coming and you're pissed. You already decided that you were smarter than Mark Miller. Yeah. You're pissed off with this crazy twist ending. You're upset and, you know, how dare he do this and he didn't foreshadow it enough for you and you're mad. But me, I enjoyed it. Yeah. And, you know, this is just mindless violence and lots of curse words, but a good twist. Oh, so, yeah. satisfying story for me. And then if you don't like that, he also has Superior, which is magical and curse words. So, as far as I'm concerned, as long as you like curse words, you like Mark Miller. I, I mean, you I, should. I like both those so, things. So, stay tuned for next week with DC Icons holding the line at 299. Thanks, bye-bye.